So how do we pull off the effect that we just saw there in the opening video? Well, of course, it all starts with bringing down our very first track or clip that we need there. This, of course, is the beautiful Palm Jumeirah there in the United Arab Emirates. And we brought that on to track one. Let's do the same for the exact same file. But let's go ahead and put that one on track four. Need to make sure that it's in the same position because of the techniques we're using once we apply those underneath, they're going to be exposed the exact same file, exact same color. So that's the reason for that. These two empty spots here are where we're going to put our text. So let's go ahead and click title. Come on down to plain text. These basic ones that you see here have no movement. So basic six is a good candidate there. Drag that down into track two and extend this almost the full length of the video. That's about right. Now, of course, you see that we cannot see that because the native default behavior in Filmora, as so, so many other programs, is to only show the top layer and, of course, hide the ones underneath. With the exception of the two techniques that we're actually going to use today, the first one, of course, coming right up. But for now, let's bring that text up to track five temporarily so you can see the word that we're going to work with. Double click on it to bring up the editing menu. And let's type in the word that we need, Jamera. Increase the font size there to about 90. There we go. That looks good. You can use whatever font style you want, but we'll keep the default for this portion here. Let's go ahead and lock tracks four and one as we need to move this one. Slide, slide, slippity slide this one to the left right there outside of view. Of course, we're trying to get the words to come through this opening here, which we will do here in a few moments, but we need to make sure that our starting point is here. Now to apply movement, we're gonna use keyframing. We need to go to animation, customize there, and make sure that we've clicked on that proper file. The X axis will move things right to left, the Y north and south or up and down. So we need to move this word to the right. So let's enter a value Let's see what 500 gets us almost outside of that opening. Let's try 550. All right, so the word is right outside and we can see it in its entirety. So that works for us there. So we know that 550 is the value. So let's reset that. And now let's come across about four seconds. And that value that we just saw, let's type that in here, 550. So now we've got that movement left to right. Let's go ahead and render this. All right, so let's go ahead and see what that's going to do. Of course, it's going to give us that left to right motion that we need right there. And then it's going to hang and sit right there till we do something else with it. So what's the next step, you may ask? Of course, let's bring this title down to where it needs to go. Park it there in track two. And let's go ahead and unlock these now. Let's move our playhead right there over that second keyframe. And now we're going to click on top track. And to expose that text, we're going to use the masking technique that we talked about in a previous video. But for now, let's split this clip. And to get that, click OK. Let's come on over to effects, recommend it, and let's type in mask. All right, drop this image mask right there directly on top of that track. And let's go ahead and wait a bit and slide the playhead just a bit to the left. And as you can see, this default mask exposes just a little bit of these words here. So now let's double click on that file. Come on back over to video. The video effects here. To expose more of the words, go ahead and slide the x-axis there to the left. 
Again, we're trying to come through that opening. So let's see if we can get it just right, just a little bit. Slide your playhead to make sure it's not touching the building when it comes through. Just hit a little bit there. All right, so maybe we need to go to the right a little bit. All right, let's render this and see how that looks. All right, so I'll go ahead and play that back for you. And there you go, the text coming through. So we've got the first part of the illustration that we need. But as you can see, now the text is hidden. So how do we get that to appear for the remainder of our video? Well, that's the second technique that we spoke about a few weeks ago. So to get that, Let's click on this second portion. We're already in the advanced menu. Let's open up compositing. And of course the blending mode is what allows multiple layers to show and the colors between them, depending on what's selected here, interact and work in a different way. So let's select overlay and see what that gets us here. See a big difference in the color on background. So let's go ahead and drop that opacity down to zero. Render that again. And so we, of course, just saw that coming through the opening. But now let's see if we can see our text hangs there. Colors look just the same. So let's go ahead and pause that. And next, we need to apply some more movement to the text. So again, click OK. Click on that text. And let's bring our playhead back a few seconds later. Double click again, back to our keyframe, and let's add one more. What we want to do here is bring that text forward here and make it a little bit bigger while it's doing so. So let's go ahead and scale that on up. We can even make it that large. Again, it's up to you. Now let's slide this one down. We need to go negative. Let's try 110 about negative 130. Okay, that gives us enough room for our second word. Go back to titles, bring another one down here, double click, palm, and we can make this one 100, a little bit smaller than Jamera. Let's lock these so they don't move as well. It's just a good habit that I kind of have. There we go. And we'll just apply a simple effect on this one. So let's go back to animation. And let's see. We'll just spin this one. All right, we'll do that one this time. So let's go ahead and hit OK, unhide or unlock these tracks here. And our very last effect here on the keyframe of this one is to forward again. Double click. Go back to animation and add another keyframe. Again, it's in the same position. And here towards the end, we're going to zoom this all the way up. Let's slide that position to the right. Let's see if we can go a thousand, twelve hundred, and let's go ahead and change that opacity so that it's see through there in the end. We also have an effect here. We got that fire, fuego. It's actually in the elements. Let's see if we have that here. Just updated this, so it's hard to find these effects. But more just had an update that changed where these effects are. 
All right, let's bring this one on down. All right, so we need to do something with this part here. This is a little too slow, so let's shorten that palm. Let's bring the fire there. So what we're actually doing here is trying to ensure that when the flame wipes over the entire screen, that the word palm is gone once it's done. So we're going to speed this one up here as we play around with this one here. And the last thing that we actually did was here towards the end, we split this top clip. And we, of course, did the pan and zoom effect. Pan and zoom actually doesn't allow certain effects to be on it. So we simply removed it. So let's go ahead and hit pan and zoom and find this middle spot here. Of course, keeping the 16 by nine ratio and that preview there, you can see we're gonna zoom on into the C. And media, we're gonna bring that second clip down to the timeline. And of course you see there that jet ski is gonna zoom into the C, bring down our sound clip and find a quick transition there between these two clips there on track four. Pick this warp zoom number three and shorten it just a little bit there you go this won't look exactly like in the preview but we're going to ease in this audio here after this quick render lower the volume just a bit there goes the ease in and let's go ahead and take a look at what we accomplished today So I just want to thank each and every one of you again for rocking in here with me today. Moving text behind an object was actually a challenge, but once I had the concepts down, then it was off to the races there. And the same applies for you and any creative idea that you have. It's just getting your hands down on those basic concepts. And once you've got those, the sky is truly the limit. But wishing each and every one of you all the best this holiday weekend. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and peace. 